Tonight, three rounds, this in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a freestyle fighter standing five feet, 10 inches tall. Weighing in at the featherweight limit, 146 pounds. His professional record stands at 10 victories with four defeats. Fighting out of Inglewood, Colorado, by way of Casablanca, Morocco. Here is Yusuf, the Moroccan devil, Zola! And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Also a freestyle fighter. He stands six feet, two and a half inches tall. At 145 pounds officially, his record stands at seven victories and one defeat. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, here is Sean, the sniper, Woodson! And your referee in charge of the action is Keith Peterson. A lot of people had this one circled on the prelims as one of the more interesting fights early in the night for Sean Woodson at six, two and a half. He is the tallest featherweight on the roster at 78 inches. He has the longest Sir, you reach ready? Sir, you of ready? any featherweight Fight. in the UFC. Right in the middle. How about that? Pumps out the jab right away, does Woodson. Yeah, there it is. Six inch reach advantage for Woodson. And as I said, he knows how to use it. Look at the snap on that jab. That, that calf kick is going to be a main weapon for Zalal. He always uses it, but Woodson uses that jab, so you put a lot of weight on that front foot. Yep. So you're going to see Zalal attack that a lot, but Woodson counters it by switching stance, as you can see here. And one of the things that comes with being the longest and the tallest is something has to give. You can't have the thickest legs. Right. You're going to have skinny little legs, and you chop away with calf kicks like you said, Dom. Yeah, that's going to be a real problem for the former boxer. And you kind of have to if you're Zalal. That long, you, you have to take away the, the lead leg of Woodson if you're going to really get, get a case moving, moving him back. And this is good for Zalal, actually. A great strategy here because typically Zalal, he likes to move around a lot. But against a guy like Woodson with the reach advantage, you've got to minimize that. You've got to get in the face. You've got to get in the pocket and take away that advantage. Of course, as we see, he gets on his back and moves around on occasion. But when he goes on the attack, he's going to go forward. Zalal's landing a little bit more right now than Woodson. I mean, he's got Woodson chasing him a little bit around the octagon with the different footwork and the different side-to-side -side movements. They kick that time from Woodson. There's familiarity between these two guys because of their coaches. Mark Montoya's in the corner of Yusuf Zalal. Sean Woodson has trained with James Krause in the past, and of course, Montoya and Krause are very close. Krause kind of sat this one out. But nonetheless, these guys know what each other is good at. Zalal believed he had the more well-rounded game. Here he shoots in. Woodson's going to get that left hand and bury it in. There it is. There's the underhook. Now lift him up. He let it go. Made a mistake there. What I noticed, too, Woodson usually lets his hands go a little bit more. I noticed he knew Zalal was going to shoot, and I think that kept him from letting a lot of his offense go. And after the last fight where he got choked and taken down, you could see maybe that's a thought for him. I don't always, want to be taken down. That's always the case. Anytime you fight someone that you think is going to take you down, it restricts your ability to throw punches because you're waiting for it. Here's a classic example, and I'm not taking away from Kamara Usman, but against Masvidal. I think Masvidal was expecting the takedowns, and that allows him to get caught with a massive punch the way he did. Again, not taking away from Usman, he was sensational. Oh, nice, nice. two from Woodson. And that's the advantage of switching stance. Now you got a one-two come in, it's a left hand. Huh. Zala didn't see that one come through. Look at that, Woodson's pointed at the center of the octagon saying, let's Take me down. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta dodge that left hook. I'm kidding, I'm kidding.